237 pounds. 16 stone. 283.7 pounds. 20 stone, three. 20 stone, three. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Bart Dark, and I'm back with another boxing video, and today is the day. Earlier today, it was the weigh-in to Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua 2. And the weigh-in was crazy, man, because the weight was just crazy. Now, Anthony Joshua was able to come in at 237. He's actually coming in lighter than he did in the first fight. And that's no big surprise to everybody. Everybody knew that he was um, pretty much training to lose that extra muscle mass. Um, and that was the game plan. And he's at, one, at 237 now. The shocker to everybody was Andy Ruiz coming in at 283. This dude has gained over 15 pounds. 15 pounds. Now, we're going to find out at, at, at fight night exactly how serious this weight thing is. Who's taking this fight serious? We're going to see tomorrow night in the fight. Well, actually, it's going to be, the fight is going to be coming on at, I believe, 345 or whatever. The main event, at least. I think the actual fight card starts earlier on the uh, DAZN app. But, um... We gonna see now. Some people say that Andy Ruiz he wanted to come in heavier because he feels more comfortable being heavier. He feels more stronger, and this was uh, um, intentional. So that's what some people are saying. This is some people say that he actually said that um, as far as him coming in heavier. Do you guys think that's going to be a problem in this fight? Coming in heavier. I mean, most likely he doesn't think he's going to win on the scorecards. It looks like to me he wants to win by knockout. Which, could you really blame him with the politics of boxing? I mean, you got to go in there and you're going to have to knock out Anthony Joshua because he is the cash cow and everybody is probably thinking he's going to win the fight. Um, Anthony Joshua, in order for him to win, I think he's just got to pretty much just, he has to continue to just box and move, use his distance, use his jab. What he does not want to do is sit there. He doesn't want to sit in the pocket. He doesn't want to sit on the ropes. He doesn't really want it to engage um, in a lot of encounters with Andy Ruiz because if you do that, you're going to risk getting hit with a hard shot. And the thing about Andy Ruiz is once he hits you with one good solid shot, he follows up with about five to six more shots because we already know his hand speed, his hand combination is very good for a heavyweight. So Anthony Joshua has to be very cautious and very smart in this fight. This is a fight where you got to use your basic boxing techniques stick and move do not get caught slipping because if you do it could be over for him now we're going to see because in the first fight it was rumors that anthony joshua got hurt once again as far as the training and then it was rumors like last week they were saying that uh that anthony joshua was hurt and sparring as well so we're going to see exactly if that's true i mean all i say is this he can't get tired we know in the first fight he was getting tired he got the knockdown, then he kind of punched himself out. He was trying to finish off Andy Ruiz, and then he got caught in the um, encounter between the two. He cannot do that this this fight. He has to keep his composure, and keep boxing, keep moving, and it's simple. Andy Ruiz, I think his game plan is just to con just apply pressure. He's going to be the heavier man. He doesn't really have anything else to do is to walk down Anthony Joshua. He cannot let up, keep putting that pressure on him, putting that um, the body weight and then just the mental pressure because we know that he knocked him out in the first fight. So um, Anthony Joshua will be fighting a lot of uh, demons. That mental pressure is going to be very tough for him. So Andy Ruiz needs to just put that pressure, apply that pressure, um, use his jab, and set up a good shot. Because I think Andy Ruiz realizes that all he has to do is catch Anthony Joshua one solid time. If he's able to just get him or just buzz him, then he can let those hands go, which will hurt Anthony Joshua even more, similar to the first fight. So we're going to see. This is going to be a tough competitive fight. As I told you guys, I think it's going to be a knockout. I don't see this fight going to the cards at all um, with the weight advantage that Andy Ruiz has and then Anthony Joshua coming in at a lighter weight. It's almost kind of hard to predict who's going to win. I mean, the logical choices that a lot of people were going with is Anthony Joshua. A lot of people believe that he's going to come in stronger faster more disciplined in this fight i feel like andy ruiz will be stronger but i don't think he's going to be as fast as he was 
in the first fight, but they say Andy Ruiz said he's more comfortable with this weight. So we're going to see how it all plays out. Um, you guys let me know. Leave your predictions down below on who you see winning this fight. I can't wait to see it, man. It's going to be crazy, man. But like I told you, my prediction is this. I can't really pick who I think is going to win. Um, but I can tell you this. Somebody getting knocked out. Either man can actually win this fight. That's the thing. Either man can win. It just depends on what type of fighter we get. If Anthony Joshua goes in there and, and uses his game plan of just sticking and moving, he's going to win the fight easily. But if he starts to sit there and allow um, Andy Ruiz to let those hands go and catch him with something solid, then Andy Ruiz will win once again. So we're going to see, man. But like I said, leave your prediction down below, and I will catch y'all after the fight in my aftermath video. But it's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.